This is awkward. I'm sitting in my car about to go in for a facial. I figured why not do an update video on my skin. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. My name is Gianna and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. My mom is a holistic esthetician. I'm currently at her spa. I'm parked. I'm not driving, not being reckless. I'm coming in for it's been about a week and a half since I started talking about my hormone skin stuff on Instagram and I figured I'm doing my follow-up facial with her. I'm super, super grateful to have her and to have a mom that does what my mom does. But I wanted to take you with me and kind of show you what I can. Um, I forgot to bring my stand for my camera so I might not be able to necessarily film the facial but I promise I'll explain and if my mom's not too busy, maybe she can talk a little bit too or maybe I can add that in later on. Either way, I'm here, it's called Changes Spa and I'm here to get an oxygen facial and I can share more about what exactly that is later but this is what my skin's been looking like and as far as an update of what I've been doing, so many of you recommended so many different things and like I can't even name the amount of stuff. One thing that I changed right off the bat, I think my vitamin B situation was a little too much and it was causing me to break out. I also was over exfoliating and that makes a huge difference. I stopped that and I changed my product regimen. This is like such an awkward stance. <laughs> my mom put me on a new skincare regimen and I'll talk about those products later on when I get home, show you exactly which products I'm using. The brand is called Environ. That made the world of a difference. So I did that and I also kind of did the celery juice thing. It's only been maybe five days. Honestly, I don't think it's really doing anything. <laughs> my skin's been clearing up from the products that I'm using. I'm also drinking raspberry tea and moringa tea, which I will show you later on as well. So, enough car awkward angles. I'm gonna go in and get ready for my facial. And this is Cora. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> we are getting an oxygen facial with Cora today. <laughs> My mom. It will be good. She means that with a lot more enthusiasm than she Sorry, sounded. Sorry, I'm just looking at my schedule for today. <laughs> for sluggish, tired skin due to environmental toxins, pollutants, allergens, and solar damage. It's great um, also for scarring. Okay. And we're going to do um, an optional uh, retinal peel with it. Okay. <laughs> I thought I shut my camera off and my mom went to put it back and it was still on for 22 minutes and recorded like the ceiling for 22 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's good. Yeah. It's a good angle. It's a good video. What's going on here? I'm just putting your sunscreen on. Your finishing product. Wear sunscreen, kids, every day. All year long. You heard the woman. <laughs> This is my skin post facial. This is what my skin looks like after what my mom did. I'm gonna show you the products that I've been using that I've incorporated into my routine, which have helped my skin immensely. <laughs> helped. <laughs> I do this regimen twice a day. In the morning when I wake up, I wash my face and I use this. I wash my face with this. Botanically infused Seba Wash Gel Cleanser and it's good for acne prone skin. After that, I swipe my face with this toner. After I swipe my face, I put my eye cream on. And then I use this spot treatment. It's a Seba Spot Blemish Gel Botanically Infused, also by Environ. I combine these two. I always wear sunscreen during the day. This is my sunscreen. And sometimes at night, probably about three times a week, I'll put this intensive clarity treatment. And yeah, so my skincare regimen's pretty extensive. Um, I have very active, oily, greasy Italian skin. On top of that, I'm very physically active. I teach hot yoga, I take hot yoga, I exercise and like just sweat a lot in life and in the gym and the yoga studio. So <laughs> I'm a sweaty gal. This helps me a lot. I mean, my regimen wasn't as fine-tuned as this before. I was using a number of other products, not necessarily focusing on breakouts because I just never really honestly had that issue. But coming off the pill has changed just a lot of things for me. Even though coming off the pill was for the best and I highly recommend it and I don't think that birth control is a very good option. I'm gonna show you the tea that I've been drinking and then honestly, that's really it. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. This video's somewhat brief, maybe not because I can't seem to get videos under 15 minutes. I just wanted to kind of show where I'm going with my skin life. And one thing that I'm learning that I see a lot of people talk about too, at the end of the day, your skin is just skin. It's not you, it's not who you are, it's not what you offer. You are so much more than your skin. And I know it's it's easier said, um, and, I, and I give a lot of love and respect and credit to the people that spend their whole life dealing with acne. It's a lot and it takes an emotional toll on you. But knowing that you're more than that is so important. And I've been super insecure about just like the minor skin issues that I've been having. And I'm working hard as of many other people who I see talk about this. I'm working hard to understand and to just accept that this is not an end game thing. This does not make or break me. This doesn't change who I am, what I've been through, what I'm capable of, or who I am as a person. And I know that might sound kind of like fluffy, fairy, bubblegum bullshit, but it's the truth. I have these probably once a day. I drink them together. I mix them with just water. I mean, that's what tea kind of is. I don't really, I don't really put honey or anything in it. Yeah, I, I eat honey. Um, I don't put any kind of sweetener in it, regardless of what kind of sweetener you use. 
I have significantly cut back on the type of my sweet type stuff. Um, I don't eat a lot of sugar, but I did used to eat a lot of fruit. I'm not saying that fruit sugar is bad, but I think it has a weird effect on my gut, and I think that then reflects in my skin. I can't tell if this video is kind of blurry right now, so I'm sorry. But I haven't been having as much fruit, nearly as much as I used to, and I have a lot of berries, high water content kind of fruits when I do have fruit. I've also been having more probiotics. That's really it. I wish I could offer you guys something crazy. I hope this helps. If you enjoy this video and feel you feel like it helped you in any kind of way, let me know. And if not, then like tell me that I suck. <laughs> tell me, <laughs> let me know. I'll keep letting you know what works, what doesn't work. Have a nice day. Also comment below and let me know what kind of skin stuff has worked for you and if, if if you've been dealing with hormonal acne, what do you do? What works for you? What's your story? Share it in the comments.